Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. Today, I am pleased to announce the upcoming update for Kali iOS. Bringing exciting new features and improvements to enhance your experience with Kali Linux on iOS. Let's start with the installation of Kali Linux on iPhone or iPad. First of all, we need to install ISH Terminal Emulator app on your iOS device from App Store. Second, we need to download our custom Kali iOS root star archive. I will put the download link in the description. Note that this is the latest Kali iOS version link. Once the Kali iOS downloaded, now we need to launch ISH app from our device. Now from ISH app, go to the settings, then click on file systems. Then click on import. As you can see, I still have the old Kali iOS file in it. But now I am going to import the latest version on it. Now just click on import and choose the latest download Kali iOS version. Then open on Kali iOS version 1.1.0. And then click on boot from this file system. ISH app will crash but don't worry, it's normal. Launch ISH app again and wait until it boots to the new file system. As you can see now we are in Alpine, which serves as recovery OS. Now from here, run the startup script to initiate the Kali Linux environment. Congratulations! You are now ready to use full Kali Linux in text mode on your iOS device. As you can see after using apt update commands, it's working properly without any error. With this new version update now you can use a bug fix command to address common issues within the Kali iOS environment. Simply type bug fix to initiate the program and race solve any known issues automatically. Also with this update, it's full support for PIP3 and Python 3. This update ensured that PIP3 and Python 3 are fully functional. You can now harness the power of Python and install packages using PIP3 on your iOS device. The most exciting feature added in this update is introducing Lynx and a Lynx browsers. This update compiled and added Lynx and a Lynx browsers to the Kali iOS environment. Now you can browse the web directly from your iOS device using these text-based browsers, providing you with more flexibility and control. Hope you like the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give a like and subscribe.